Alright, so your Xbox tray is all fucked up because you've been prying it open. First thing you want to do is either uh, repair this little bit here that's broken, super glue something in there, or melt some plastic. You want that to be nice and flat across there. That's from prying it open. I got a new tray, so throw that thing away. But anyways, what the problem is, is, you see that first tooth right there? It's wore down. It can't catch it when it's trying to pop up. Right? Kind of holds up right there. So we're going to show you how to get in there and pull that apart and actually fix it. You could probably replace the part, but I'm going to show you how to fix it without replacing it. First, take these two screws off of here. Then it kind of has a little clip that holds this whole mechanism in here. What you do is just take a Flat tip, don't break it because it's, uh, it's just soft plastic. Pop it over the top of that lip on both sides. Alright, then this tray will actually come up. You kind of got to push it to one side and then the other. Then you pull this whole thing out of here. Next, we're going to fix that little tooth. In order to fix it, what I like to use is siren. I have kind of a shitty one I like to use because for plastic, you don't want to use your good electronics one on this. But anyways, do is just get the siren iron nice and hot, and you kind of just solder this plastic into there. Get it nice and hot, blowing off your piece there. And push it onto there. You want too much because you're gonna have to carve it back off to get shape back into a tooth. Then just take a razor blade and cut your tooth in. You gotta get it pretty close to what it should have been. And uh, I already cut the sides down. Now I just gotta cut this tooth in, and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. I think I got it pretty close. You can see it there. That's the piece that I soldered in. I cut down the sides and I cut the tooth in afterwards. I probably could have done a better job soldering in. But there you go. You just put it back together and it should work. The next step is to remove the magnet. Well, part of it anyways. Pull off the sticker. It's unneeded. Hold underneath this. Spin this until it falls off. What you got here it was, it was whole, but it took me a while to figure out the best way to do this because it doesn't work with it and it doesn't work without it. So what I found the best thing is to do is take half of it out. It actually works pretty well, even being unbalanced, it still works. It releases and it goes. Alright, here's the real test now. I'm going to make sure it opens. It does. Put the disc in. And make sure it spins. And it does.